After I started thinking about it, uh, I know a lot of times people uh, just kind of describing things really doesn't paint the picture, especially if someone's really new at uh, working on old outboards or they've inherited one from their dad or their grandfather. So, uh, you know what, uh, I thought uh, uh, I would just go ahead and take a little extra time and uh, get in there. I hope there's enough light where you can see. Uh, so anyway, um, I was describing how to take the carb off this 6 horsepower uh, and uh, it should be uh, close in age to a, a, lot, of the, uh, <clears throat> a lot of the motors uh, from the uh, early 60s, um, excuse me, mid 60s, 6 horsepower all the way to uh, probably late 70s. It's probably very similar in nature. So we're going to go ahead and remove this slow speed needle here, okay? Just go ahead, it's, and I've loosened some of these ahead of time so we can, uh, you know, so save some time. Again, we're looking at the needle here, and you want to make sure it's nice and clean, pointy, and, uh, and uh, it's not bent or all scratched up. Uh, if it's all bent and distorted, that means the previous owner or whoever worked on it uh, probably uh, smashed that in really good tight and, uh, and probably damaged uh, the needle in the opening. Also, too, off to the side here, uh, you disconnect uh, the uh, fuel hose coming from the fuel pump from the carburetor. And then uh, what we're going to do, I have a little uh, a 5 16 inch wrench, and I'm, I've already loosened these, okay? The front, remember, and the back here, and I've loosened these already. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen these and take it off. Now you want to be careful when you're doing this because uh, if you uh, completely slide this out, it is a bit of a pain to try to, um, um, to rewind the spring. It can be done, but uh, why make uh, extra problems for yourself? Okay, so all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to lean it back. I'm going to grab a screwdriver here. And there's a little linkage right here, okay, where th uh, this right here, the, the cam follower for uh, right up from here for the linkage for the link and sink. Uh, <clears throat> it follows along, okay. And so I'm going to pull this back, okay, just like this. You see what I'm talking about? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I pull it back just a little bit. You notice I pull it back. It allows me to get the screwdriver back here and start loosening this bolt. And so I've already pre-loosened it uh, to save time. And so, uh, let me go ahead and loosen it some more. Just go ahead and continue loosening it just like this. Okay, until it's uh, completely out. Okay. And then what you do is just try to keep everything together. If you can. Sometimes it kind of falls apart, but just watch where everything goes. And just slide it back out of the way. A little washer fell down at the bottom, but I'll go ahead and get that. So I'm I'm gently pulling this back a little bit. It I, you notice it's staying down at the base, and that's very very important. You just want to slide this back a little bit. This is also a little support column here, and you just want to slide this back a little bit, holding with your left hand, being very careful. You go ahead and you take a seven. Uh, excuse me, um, oops, seven. No, three eighths. No, 7 sixteenths, excuse me. 7 sixteenths inch wrench, and you start loosening it up, okay? And so I've already done that ahead of time. And so I'm loosening these, okay? And this one has already been loosened as well, too. Again, 7 sixteenths. And I'll tell you, it's a little easier if you slide these forward, just like this a little bit, as you're pulling it, okay? And be very careful. And if, it, uh, if the little nut falls at the bottom, it doesn't matter. You can easily retrieve it once you get the carb out. Okay, you just slide this forward like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And it kind of fell down to the bottom right here. No big deal. And then I'm also going to remove this one as well too. Place this on top. And then uh, I believe everything's out of the way. We can gently sl slide our carb out. All right, now that I got my carb out, I want to go ahead and fish the little washer, and I want to fish, uh, fish my nut back. Okay, uh, and, and keep track of those. So I fished them up. So what I want to do now, so this doesn't accidentally come out of place, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, these, these bolts back in. OK, 
Okay. All right. All right. As you can see here, um, as you can see here, we have uh, the uh, the little plug here. Uh, I mean, <clears> that <throat> blocks up the high speed orifice channel here. Uh, and so there's no um, high speed needle here. Remember, there's an orifice plug in here. Okay, and this is right here. This is the packing uh, packing screw that helps push uh, the little um, uh, the little packing to help form a seal around the needle. So I'm going to go ahead and place the carb over here. And I like to replace these back in spot because you know what? It makes it a lot easier uh, to, um, uh, to find. And if you notice on here, there's still the gasket that's uh, that, uh, from <clears throat> right up in the front here the manifold area uh, and uh, and the leaf valves are behind here there's still a gasket on here if that gasket is, is still in, in good condition uh, it can be reused uh, but if you have a kit there's no big deal you can uh, certainly uh, replace the gasket uh, I'm gonna bring you over now to the 18 horsepower okay and the 18 horsepower uh, again in the beginning uh, I was uh, on the previous one, uh, the previous film. I had uh, the little cotter pin that was in here, okay. And as you can see, uh, to to take this carb out, uh, you can remove this little cotter pin. Now there's going to be some slightly different uh, uh, configurations from the 18 horsepower uh, and the uh, 25 horsepower, but all of it is real, real similar. So if you take uh, the little Pin out here. Sorry. Okay. If you take the cotter pin out here, okay, place it on top so we don't lose it, and you remove that linkage out just like this. You want to try to keep everything together, okay? Don't want to lose anything. It is also a good idea to take pictures as you go if you're unfamiliar with doing this. So that way you can go back and see if something's missing. Uh, use lots of um, uh, Ziploc bags, they're real, real cheap, and you can keep track of things. So down here, down at the bottom, like I was saying, I removed that little cotter pin. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to remove the choke. And it is a bit of a pill to try to get to this screw unless you have a really sc uh, short screwdriver. Uh, but this is a handy little tool, it looks like a little ratchet, you can put some <clears throat> little attachments on the end and then uh, you can loosen it up okay I've already done it so I'm going to remove that screw connecting to the, the, the choke knob and uh, linkage here okay uh, be very very careful there is a wash there's a wave washer and a regular washer that wave wash a washer helps uh, put tension uh, on there so it doesn't uh, become loose and it's uh, it can be easily flexible back and forth and so here I'm pulling this up I want to pull the choke knob back with my right hand it's off to the side here uh, I'm pulling this back okay and then I can remove that piece out all right and I'm putting that on top of the motor be very careful when you pull the choke knob out don't be, be don't be too aggressive right here is a detent boot that little detent boot is made of plastic and it's helped uh, it helps uh, with the slotting of back and forth and there's uh, there's like a one or two position where you can halfway pull the choke out that it helps keep it in that position if you're a little too rough and you pull it out you can damage that detent boot and those little detent boot uh, coming from uh, the online parts store uh, are quite expensive all right we'll slide it forward just like this and then we'll get it out all right alrighty now that we have that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and place uh, those parts on the workbench because I certainly don't want these to get lost. 